Uh, today we're going to be looking at how to take a text file, find two strings in it, and display every line from the first string through the second string. Um, this was a question I saw on a forum today, just going through stuff. Someone asked it like a year ago. No one ever answered it. I decided to give it a try. Normally what I do is try to do it myself uh, without looking up, seeing if I can figure out how to do it with what I know. I did come up with a solution. It was like five really long lines of script using awk and tail and head and throwing stuff in the variables, blah, blah, blah. And of course it worked, but I knew that it had to be simpler than that. So then I tried Googling it. I tried Googling awk between two lines, awk between two strings. I tried doing bash uh, cat file from line to line, stuff like that. Finally, I found the answer with said. And the answer is pretty simple, but first we need to create uh, our text file. So I'm going to use Vim as my text editor. I'm going to create a file called myfile.txt, and I'm going to just type in some gibberish here. And then I'm going to type in a line called string one. And then I'll type in some other lines here. Come, yeah, I love Linux, bash, blah, blah, blah. And we'll say string two. And then I'll say blah, 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 blah after that. Okay, so now we're going to save that. And of course, we can cat that file out file.txt, we see the whole file, but we want to just display from this line to this line. And like I said, probably more than one way to do it, but I found that said does a pretty good job. So we're going to say said n, single quote, forward slash our first string, so string one in this case. Obviously, you'd write whatever your string is. Forward slash comma, forward slash, and then whatever the second string is, string two forward slash p, single quote, and then the name of our file. And when we hit enter, you can see we have from string one through string two displayed, ignoring all other um, characters or lines in that file. Now doing it this way obviously uh, does not modify the original file. We can still cat that out and see all the lines. Uh, we could pipe this, or sorry, redirect this into a new file. Um, and then also said, can uh, edit stuff in place as well. I'm drawing a blank on that. I think it's the I command. Let's, uh, let's, I'm going to regret doing this, but let's man said, and let's look for dash I in place. So I think if we add this, right, let's see if this works dash i in place. Now if we cat out my file txt. Okay, so adding the i, I was right. It happens occasionally. Um, that changes in place. So if you have that i, it will basically destroy and rewrite the original file. If you want to keep the original file, you want to redirect. Or if you just want to display it on screen, you don't have to worry about that at all. Just do, do the original command. So I thank you for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There'll be a link to that and other links in the description. Be sure to check out the stuff in the description. And I hope that you have a great day. So my hair is a little crazy because I've been going crazy trying to find the products I want to buy. But then I realized if I go to filmsbychris.com forward slash Amazon, not only can I find the products I want to buy, but I also support a site I like. So check it out, filmsbychris.com forward slash Amazon.